Appreciated or not, cause I just wanna let you know you got it going on, sister. Go call your beacon cause your skin tone sandy Intoxicating lips reminding alcohol like a brown brandy Of the gallon in your love, many men dream of wallowing A look at you and most brothers got a hard time swallowing No need for blushing, I tell them kids hushing Tone it down a bit, senorita was about to say something A stealth bomber could have a hard time following your curves And a minister wouldn't dare repeat the words So what I do to you, performing tricks like Houdini The freaks come out at night I take you to the point where you hear voices whispering Coming to the line Your walk is music when I'm looking at your grooves Your tongue is lotion on my back it's soothe, sugar, let's make moves. I want you closer to my body than my epidermis. Keeping me warmer than a thermos and causing flames like a furnace. I call you Miss Jones because I got a Jones and my loyal for you, sister. You, you got, got it going, going on. To my sweet peak and recant. You got it going on. To my Carmel Thunder. You got it going on. To my chocolate wonder. You got it going on. Yo, you got it going on. Yo, you got it going on. Just let them call your weed, you're a lotus Sugar. Method footage straight, sweet, you're all I need Bow legs and kegs, soft but firm enough to hold eggs You're in a 10K run, and, and you won't break one I saw your ex man I mentioned your name, he said Lord, Lord. Being with you was the closest thing he had to his God. God I asked him why'd he break it off, he couldn't handle your religion You one of doves and all he had to offer, you was pigeon You're soft spoken, but you're well represented Your smile's a full moon on dark skin, that becomes accented I look at you and see stars from being dazed Brothers ask to hit the brown sugar, cause my eyes is all Glazed. I sit back for a minute, laugh and chuckle Cause thoughts of you gripping me like a palm Has got me harder than a knuckle Your love's full blown, overshadowing like an eclipse Your tongue is mother's milk between ebony lips Watch, Watch them hips. hips, I wipe my brow Because wet starts to dripping on your air of dairy Sugar, I can hardly get a grip Now I call you Miss Jones Because I got a Jones and my loyons for you, sister You, you got, got it going, going on. on To my sweet peak and freaking You got it going on To my Carmel Thunder You got it going on my chocolate wonder you got it going on yo you got it going on yo you got it going on oh, man. Your loving is crazy. Uh -huh. You drain the most active men to be in couch potato lazy. His ways in the breeze like the island sure trees. Now. Your length represents the strength on the power to the tenth. We get together and go on to the break of dawn. Ginseng and bananas enhance the way that, that I perform. The warm whispers in my ear calm the savage storm. And every time you make me let off, it's like I'm being reborn. You blow up the spot and make it hotter than the Bahamas in hell. When you express yourself like the rebel X. Man, she give me what I need, I mean. She my private free kick, my own personal skin. Don't get me wrong, she's all woman and no oh. But when it comes down to bedtime, she's just down for a little more than the money in the middle. And expresses her love for me in more ways than fruit combinations of Skittles. On her stomach, behind her thighs, got me hung like men in cloth. Sometimes I smack her on the cheeks, ride just to let her know who's boss. I call her quarter, cause she's always got my back in any season and down for all reasons. Now I uh -huh. call you Miss Jones, because I got a Jones in my loyal for you, sister. You, you got, got it going on. on. I call you Miss Jones, because uh -huh. I got a Jones. And my loyons for you, sister. You, you got, got it going on. To my sweet peak and freaking. You got it going on. To my Carmel Thunder. 
You got it going on. To my chocolate wonder. You got it going on. Yo. You got it going on. Yo. You got it going on. You're all I need. You you got what I need. Need need. 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 What? What? You you got what I need. Need need. To my sweet feet. You got it going on. Shout out to Dr. Steph. Get it poppin'. Oh, I gotta think something real quick. I should have had it poppin', bro. You, you got what I need, need, need. Uh, brother getting old. I'm loving it. You, you got what I need, need, need. Y'all know, get your water together, cause we still. I know, I know y'all checked me out earlier. But y'all gotta, you know, we gotta, you know, cause that's pre-recorded. We gotta go and drink our water live. And in person, family, I gotta keep. We gotta keep the family healthy, man. We gotta, we gotta stay healthy. Gotta stay healthy. Brothers and sisters, oh brother, I take a little move. time to really look at one another, then ask yourself: Can we really afford to lose one another? We must understand that we are all we got. We're forgetting our past, blinded by crap and gun smoke. smoke. We must turn take that around, around and make the other, other man, man choke. choke. What is it? How you go, Ashabu? Down, down in flames, like the Hindenburg one day I opened my ears. You wouldn't believe what I heard. They say your word ain't Man, all right, let's get it. Let's get it. I'm sure now we have flashbacks. Let's get it popping. But I'm not even going to shed a tear. How do I do it? I forgot. Oh. Let's do it like that. Oh, it's time to tell the glass. family is I'm so excited. Sitting up here, kid magic. Kid magic rock. Shots out. Here we go. Drink your water. Come on, come on. Drink your water, but first, take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Drink, 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 drink. Or should I say, breathe, breathe, then drink. Take a breath. Take your breath. Now, grab your glass for some water. Grab your glass. Lift your picture of that water. Pour a bottle. Get that picture of that water. Uh huh. Simply pour some water. water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should water. I say, lift, pour, then drink. Now move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move your body and drink some water. Bam. Just move your body. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should I say, move, move, then drink. Move your body. Move your body. Now raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors, fam. Just raise your glass. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should I say, raise, toast, then drink. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Lift and pour yourself some water. Pour. Move your body, drink some water. Move it. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Breathe, lift, move, toast. But remember to stay healthy. Remember the four pillars. Breathe, drink, drink, eat, move. Drink half your weight in ounces. Eat a culturally appropriate diet. Behave. Take your breath. Come on. Lift and pour. You can do it. Move your body. Come on, come on. 
Toast your ancestors. Drink up. Come on, drink it, drink it, drink it. You can do it, you can do it. Come on, drink it, drink it, drink it. Come on, drink that health in. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, drink your water. Take your breath. Take your breath. Take your breath. Lift and pour. Lift it. Move your body. Come on. Come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink. 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 Drink your water. Drink. 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 Come on. Come on. Drink your water. Take your breath. Lift it, pour. Come on, pour it. Move your body. Move. Move. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. What? Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Goodness, oh my goodness, I just want to say it is a great day to be standing in the congregation of the mighty, in the home of the stubborn minority, in a place where your hustle builds muscle. This is Giami Journey Media! I'm your host, Brother Hatem. Of course, you know that this, this right here, right here, is a daily toast. But because it's happening on Coogee Chocolate, it's the Coogee Chocolate Toast. And I want to give all the Coogee Chocolate babies a round of applause. <laughs> Y'all deserve it. Right? Coogee Chocolate babies or Coogee Chocolate born. Whatever you, whatever you like best. All right? But y'all know that without a shadow of a doubt, this is a Heart of December production all day, air day. <laughs> But we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigm. Oh, and they got to blow. They got to go. They got to go. And as you know, family, you know, today, today, we are working on correspondence. We have moved from mentalism into correspondence, and we're going to discuss correspondence, of course, coming from the book Kabbalion, right? Some people want to call them universal laws, but I have a problem with universal laws. That's just me, right? I have a problem with the term, especially when it comes to human shit, you know what I'm saying? Because I, you know, you know, because, you know, universal, I have a problem with universal, y'all know, those that been around me long. You know what I'm saying? I got a problem with it. I got a problem with it. It's just some shit that when you start throwing Universal on it, it's other things that start popping up, and it ain't never been good for my peoples. This whole Universal shit. I got. I just got done listening to a book today, and it kind of irritated my soul, right? I mean, you know, I, I read a, I It irritated my soul. The book had me excited at first because it got some good information in it, except for the shit about the... the 2000, the the year 2000 switch and stuff like that, because it's an old book, about 1995. But they got a lot of shit right. But then once again, I'm so sick of my, I, I'm so sick of white men looking at black folks' problems, right? Because in this book, it's called The Sovereign Individual or something like that, right? In this book, you know what I'm saying? You know, they talking about, but then they get into the black, the, the plight of the black man. And you know what I'm saying? And I'm so sick of these motherfuckers just, just defining what, what, what's the issue for us. Right? Stick to your shit. Stick to, you know what I'm saying? I'm so sick of motherfuckers talking about meritocracy when they done killed everything. When they have, we're involved, or, or I mean, this enterprise as as um as brother Greg Carr called this settler this settler enterprise this this tyrannical place right the shit that they did and still turn around and look at you and be like it's a meritocracy and you are where you are because of the way you are it has nothing to do with you know what I'm saying shut up 
You know what I'm saying? It's just, it, it just irritates my soul. It's like somebody just got, they on a cosmic board and just. <laughs> West Asia, shut up. Why are you just. Ugh. Ugh. And then, like I said, the book was going good. Then they got back into the whole concept of morphing white supremacy from 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 this world to the digital world god damn you ooh it'll take my soul this is why i'm going to try to get as many of my young people as i can is into learning some we uh we got we got a long way to go but it's going we are this is there's no better time to do it then today, uh, Brother Kwame said he can't hear the sound. Let me see what's going on. Uh, he can't hear the sound. Let's see. But it's going, we are, this is. Brother Kwame, hold on. There you go. There you go. Check your, check your equipment, man. Check your equipment. All right, Kwame say he can't hear sound, so let's go on. We're going to go and check over here. We at the dashboard. Attention, your video bit rate is recommended range of faith for Facebook. Set bit rate between 3,000. And I did that already. Y'all need to leave me alone with that bullshit. Anyway, let's go on over here. Where you at? Uh, I want to hear. Um, check one, check two. Oh, uh, okay. I'm on. So I'm doing something wrong. They didn't switch the cameras around, so I can't really tell what's what. Um. All right, let me get this off of here. Hmm. There's no way I can hear it on. That makes no sense. That makes absolutely no sense. I will say stream through studio. I'm not streaming through studio. There we go. Let's see. Check one. Check two. Check one. Check two. Yeah, Kwame, you gonna you gonna check your equipment? Uh. Oh, I hear you. I thought so. You know, held the whole show up. That held the whole show up because he done broke something on his computer. That's the apple for you. But anyway, so family, make sure y'all come over to gnj.media. Come over to gnj.media because that is where it's going down. We're going to have a conversation. Um, and, of course, we're talking about correspondence. For those that don't know, uh, that's the hermetic law that says as above, so below, as above, so below, as below, so above. And... Talking about using similarities to learn more about yourself and the world. So we're going to go on and have our rant about that. We're going to do our toast for the moment because we already did the toast in the past, for the past and the future and all the stuff, right? But we're going to do our major toast for the moment. Um, and then we're going to get into our principal of the day, talk a little bit about the principle of the day, and of course, get into the correspondence and do my rant. So come on over to gnj.media. But before we do that, um, anime kept her part. I need to keep my part. Boom. Bay New Health, family. Bay New Health. Get your sea moss coming to the interwebs near you. Coming to the interwebs near you. That's right. Bay New Health, sea moss. Right? Also, we got little booties matter, little booties matter, Ohio.com. Go and check them out. It is petite size lingerie, right? And undergarments for petite size women. They call themselves fun sized. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. You know, I, I appreciate the hustle. I appreciate their grind. I appreciate their support and their love. 
right, that they throw on Gianni Journey, they bless us, um, so, shouts out to Lil Booties Matter, and, you know what I'm saying, we, we doing that, also, I want to send shouts out to, uh, Blossom 7 Creations, you can go to Blossom7Creations.com, Blossom7Creations.com, is that backwards? Blossom7Creation.com, Blossom7Creation.com, Accentuating Excellence, as you can see, I got on my day beads today, um, these are my, um, these are the Kooji Chagalia beads, yes, yes, y'all, um, she also created clutch purses and a whole bunch of other stuff, you go to Blossom7Creations.com, buy Blossom7Creation.com, uh, um, there's Little Booties Matter and there's a Little Booty Matters. Do they treat both? The hell? There's Lil Booties Matter, and then there's Lil Booty Matters. Uh, theirs is Lil Booties Matter. Without the S. Ohio.com. Um, so, uh, now, dang, they keep on saying I gotta set my bit rate. What's going on with the bit rate? All right, so I'm, I'm going to have to go and explore that. I have to explore that and fix that later. Because they tripping. I don't understand. But anyway, everything's online. So, But it's not going to be online long because we're about to go on and just go and switch it up and cut everything off, like right now, and move straight into it. Because I'm going I'm to get out here and um, make sure these girls, you know what I'm saying, try to, you know, copy my girls on their walk. I'm getting my timing down now, especially with us filming stuff in advance. It's just us over here. You know what I'm saying? It's just us over here now. Um, getting everything together. Let me get my toast, my toast juice together. Hey, we're gonna try. It. We'll try this one. It's been sitting over here. It's kind of lumpy, but you can expect that. But anyway, family, all right, here we go, so now, so anime, if you could, assist your, assist brother Hot Tim, if you could, all right, get everything moving, can I get the war horn, please, can I get my title music? So family, we are ranting about correspondence today. Of course, you know, we have been going through the seven. We have been going through the Nguza Saba. We used, we went through the Nguza Saba. Then we went through um, um, the Player's Pyramid. Then we went through the seven, um, the, the uh, myotic principles, the seven myotic principles. Now we're going through the seven hermetic laws, right? Um, once again, I have a problem with the universal piece, and and we can talk about that. I mean, I, I I stress I stress some of my issues with that. Um, so right now we are on the Hermetic Law, and it's called correspondence. And what I want to do is pull a little bit from the Kabbalion for you, right? We're pulling from the Kabbalion, and I guess I you know I guess I could share this. I could share this scene. Let me go to the news scene. Boom, there you go right there. The principal correspondence. As above, so below. As below, so above. The Kabbalion. Right? For those that don't know, Kabbalion is a, a old book that was written by three mysterious. They call them the three initiates. Right? Um, This book. This book. I don't remember how I dropped it. Oh, I was going to. Um, there's a bookstore in Columbus called Phoenix. Uh, it was Phoenix. It's like it was a little old house, right? And you walk in, and it's just an all bookstore, right? And it got little classes going on there. You, you know, I ain't been there in a long time, but I, you know, I I would frequent the store, Phoenix Rising or something like that. And I would go into the store, and they had a whole bunch of old spiritual books, and I'd be like, oh. So I stumbled on this book, right? And I, you know, I started checking it out, right? And I said, oh my god. Bought a couple of 
you know, shit. And went through a couple of copies, got some, kept them around, always kept it around. But it was, you know, and it hit, right? But it never hit me quite like the African openers to the tree of life. I'm just going to, I got to keep it all the way where the African open. the, uh, there is, I mean, it has, I don't know a book that hit me like that. The closest one, I mean, Africa, I, you know, like 48 Laws of Power when I first, you know, you know what I'm saying? But no, the African, the African openness to the tree like blew my mind. But anyway, the principle of correspondence, as above, so below, so below, as below, so above. All right? Correspondence, like, you know, there's seven different definitions for it, but one of them is looking at the similarities. Correspondence also means like letters that sent between people who, I guess, uh, and I guess, you know, letters sent between different individuals, correspondence, uh, messages sent. Um, um, this principle embodies the truth that there is always a correspondence between the laws and phenomena of the various planes of being and life. Right? There's a similarity between different phenomena and uh, the various planes on that we exist on. There's similarities. And what correspondence in, uh, inspires us to do is to, in a sense, study where we are so that we can know about the next phases, right? We can know about the spiritual world by understanding the material world. We can understand um, what's going on in space by truly understanding what's going on up under our feet. As above, so above, as below, as above, so below, as below, so above. You know what I'm saying? So it's like by us really uh, applying what our ancestors talk about, know thyself. We can actually know the universe. All right? um, we can know. And we can know about other planes of existence by us really taking the time. But this takes this this takes us doing some focus and some introspection on ourselves, right? which a lot of us don't have, we claim we don't have a lot of time for. The old hermetic axiom ran in these words, as above, so below, as below, so above. And the grasping of this principle gives one the means of solving many a dark paradox. All right? You know, by understanding, by understanding this, right, we could look into other realms, right, as well as understand the world that we are dealing with, as well as understanding some of the people that we are dealing with. We just have to be open and minded enough to be able to um to 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 compare. You know what I'm saying? To really take that time. See, because this is this is one of those principles that require a lot of study, right? It's, it's in the realm of uh, of, of Kuji Chaglia, right? You know, uh um defining this yourself for yourself. But in order to define yourself, you know, you got to know yourself. Sometimes some people just want to define shit without really studying it. I want to define it. I want to call it. I want to label it. I want to control it. But you really don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? Beats me. I don't understand. But anyway, there are planes beyond our knowing. But when we apply the principle of correspondence to them, we are able to understand much that would otherwise be unknowable to us. So by once again, once again. Let me just go and finish first. This principle is of universal application and manifestation on the various planes of the material, mental, and spiritual universe. It is a universal law. The ancient hermetists considered this principle as one of the most important mental instruments by which man was able to pry aside the obstacles which hid from view the unknown. It shoots even to aside the veil of Isis. We talked about this, the veil of Isis yesterday. So the veil of Isis is like this material world is what we see, right? It's like, um, it's the illusion that's of, of what's out here. That, um, um, uh, it's the illusion of what's out here. That if, if we take the time, right, we can learn to see through the veil and learn to master who and what we are and where we are, right? We, 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 we we become we become hostage of things that we don't know nor nor understand, right? When you believe in things that you don't understand, then you discover. You know what I'm saying? Superstition 
ain't the way, right? We, we, we're, we're being held hostage by rules and, and laws and ideas that we don't understand because we are not stepping back and taking time to study, right? In order to hold us in bondage, we had to be, um, we had to be inundated with beliefs that worked against us, that worked against our common sense. We had to be inundated with, with beliefs that worked against um, our very existence in order for us to serve another person or another group in the way that we did, right? And we still are shedding and peeling those skins back. And we have to be able to do that. But we have to be able to do that study. We have to be able to do that, um, take our experiences for what they are. We have to be able to look at the world and strip back the veil and be able to distinguish the real from the unreal. We're gonna have to get into those. We're gonna have to get into those to those laws of Maya. We're gonna have to get into those 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 other principles of Maya so that we really can go on and get a better understanding and peer and uh, peer into these these hermetic laws and understand these hermetic laws because I would not have understood this stuff if I had not started exploring what we in the so-called conscious community have been dealing with for a very long time. If we, ha if I had not started studying my, and, and you'd be like, wait, wait, this shit kind of, it's kind of lining up with some of the stuff that I know. But anyway, the ancient hermitists considered this principle is one of the most important mental instruments by which man was able to pry aside the obstacles which hid from view the unknown. Its use even to aside develop ISIS to the extent that a glimpse of the face of the goddess might be caught. Right. So, you know, and, and what they talk about the face of the God is the actual reality that's behind all this. Right. The actual reality. None of us, very few of us have really, truly experienced the real that lies beneath all this. And once we get through it, we'll be like Neo in that movie in the Matrix family. I'm just trying to let you all know. Um, just as knowledge of the principle of geology and it enables man to measure distance suns and their movements while seated in his observ observatory. So a knowledge of the principle of correspondence enables man to reason intelligence from the known to the unknown. Studying the monad, he understands the archangel. All right. So the monad is this, you know, the, the one point by studying the monad, we can understand the archangel what they're saying is by studying the small you will be surprised how much of the universal knowledge is exposed to us but we want to get to the big shit right we don't want to take time and understand that we are a walking universe we are a walking all all of the things that's happening out there are happening in there all in here Right, all the things that's happening out there are happening in us in some form or fashion. All we gotta do is take the time to, to is to realize it. As above, so below. As below, so above. So if I'm if I'm close to the below, I can study the below and I can learn about all the stuff out here. I want to understand economics. How does my body work? I want to understand how education works. How does what's going on inside of me? Right. What's affecting me? What's helping me build? What's what's hindering me? Come on now. So, hey, family, I want to, you know, like I said, we're going we gonna, to we gonna stop it right there. Right? You know, like I said, you want some more? You're going to do some more, some of your own study. I just, I'm just trying to whet the appetite. I'm just trying to rant a little bit. Right? That's it. Right? So, hey, anime, if you could, baby, please. That's right. That's right. Right? And, you know, you need to remember... All the time. All right, so family, that was the rant for then. Let me go on to make sure because Brother Kwame usually has something and he throws out, you know, get you some food for thought. Gives you food for thought. Oh man, I thought I was sharing that screen. <laughs> I wouldn't even share what I was reading. I'm sorry. Uh, but anyway. I, I, I'll try to remember to share it tomorrow. But um, uh, now for those that, once again, we did the toast earlier this morning. For those of you that um, want to get your ancestors on the list so that we can get it, we will add them on next week. Just make sure 
that you get in touch with somebody at Giamme, or you join our email list, right? You go to gnj.media, and right there on the screen, you have a place for your email. You click follow, and guess what? Guess what? You linked in the Giamme journey, and we can start having, we can start doing correspondence. <laughs> Digital correspondence between each other, right? And hopefully we could bring some value to each other's lives, you know what I'm saying, and build something powerful. But um, what we're going to do right now is we're going to toast the moment, and then um, I'm going to um, you know, let y'all go on and enjoy y'all day. And I'm going to go start my adventure over at, because I got a lot of stuff I got to do. I ain't get home till about like 9.30 yesterday. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I love my adventure, so I, I don't, don't, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. So, uh, I slept in a little bit, slept in about a half an hour. I said, okay, you know, you, you can do that, old man. You can do that, old man. You deserve it. So what we're going to do is family first off, as we do here at Giami, as we do at Giami, we, 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 you down there, man? Are right, we going to toast this moment? Because, of course, we can't toast the moment um, with the the toast at, that y'all saw today. So, right now, what we're going to do first off, we're going to toast the creator. Because creator is always present. I always want to remind people of that. That energy is always around us. Right? So, we want to, first off, we want to lift that up. And we want to salute that by whatever name you choose. Call that creator. We call that great power. Right? Right, we talked about talked about a little bit yesterday when it, all is mental, all of this is happening in the mind of the creator. So the creator is, is present all around us. It's present in all aspects of this reality. It's the all in all, the capital all in the small all, right? So we lifting up our glass. We saluting that, right? From there, family, we're gonna lift up our glass and we are gonna salute. Our ancestors, as as we did, we already did this morning. We lifted up and we say, I say, from their family, we're going to move to the present moment, which is what I'm, you know, right here is why we come on and we do this part of it. Because, you know, like I said, we don't have to, you don't have to wait for this part. The other part, we get that ritual aspect out. Now, we're going to lift up our glass and we're going to salute this moment, family. We're going to toast this moment. We're going to toast the power of this moment because we have to start realizing we only exist in the moment, family. We never exist in the past. We never exist in the future. We right now consciously are dealing with each other in the moment, and we need to embrace this moment. We, we need to embrace it in power. We need to embrace it in peace, right? We need to embrace this power and use it to, to, uh, to, use it to build up our space and time so that we can handle our business so that we can pass something on to the future generations. So we lifting up our glass. We saluting this moment. Right now, for us, this moment is Kuji Chagalia, right? I'm asking each and every last one of you open up your reticular formation and seek out Kuji Chagalia, if you would, right? Talk about Kuji Chagalia. Share Kuji Chagalia. Uh, uh, um, use Kuji Chagalia. Throw that energy out there because we have to share. You know what I'm saying? Our principles. We got to in order to bring to, to bring our culture. Back to where it was. We have to use it. And some people might be uncomfortable with that. And I'm cool with that. You should be cool with it too. So we lift up our glass to that. But anyway, from near family, we want to um, let you know that Kuji Chaglia, for those that don't speak the language, means self-determination. That's right, self-determination, right? Also, in this moment, we got justice, which is the modic principle, which we talked about. And I'll be sharing that that whole series with uh, those people that are in it, that are uh, G and J media supporters, I guess, or subscribers. Um, Indigo is a color. I got a dark blue one, as you can see. You can go and support us. You know what I'm saying? You get that merch too. Correspondence. It's the Hermetic Law, which we just got done talking about. Male name for the day is Quabna. Female name is Albina. We lift up our glass. We salute this moment. We salute this moment in power. We salute this moment in peace. We lift up our glass, family. And we salute it in joy. And we say, Ashe, where you at? Come on, baby. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Family, I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. Oh, shit. That's good, too. 
Super sweet. How is it that sweet? Um, uh, it say, oh, there you go. Believe it. Hold on. Kwame say, believe it or not. Believe it or not, this is my first time understanding these principles as being hermetic. Have been aware of them for some time, but didn't know them as hermetic. Right. Um, you know, they, of course, Europeans got them, West Asians got them, named them after Hermes, right? But of course they say talk, but I don't like using talk, but I don't want to say the laws of Tuhuti because we don't really know, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want to throw the moniker on them uh, as universal. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm glad you, I'm, I'm glad you're familiar with them. The name of the book that highlighted and brought it um, to a lot of people in this in this time period is a book called The Kabbalion. It's K Y B A L L I O N. I think it's called The Kabbalion, and um, I mean it's a good read. It's a good read. Uh, you can get it on PDF. You get it as a PDF. I mean, it's all over the internet. It's been, it's been out, it's been out for, I mean, for a long time. The authors are, you can look up three initiates. That's the name of the authors. All right. But anyway, fam, I'm about to get up in time to make sure my babies are safe. And I want to thank y'all, man. I want to thank those that support Giammy Journey. Let's be many of these principles are found in the development of committed and understanding how the universe works. Why? That's why I don't call them under, that's why I don't call them universal. Shit. Plus, different places in the universe might work differently. <laughs> I ain't been all over the universe yet. Been pretty much been a lot of different places. But anyway, but family, I want to thank y'all for joining us and we are out. <laughs> Mr. Diddy.
y'all, y'all take it easy. Peace out, fam. Have a great, magnificent, and powerful day.